and went on to construct another wonder of architecture called Trajan's Forum. Forum is a cultural symbol of a Roman city. It's the central place of a Roman town where people come to meet. And it usually has a temple on one side and a basilica, a judgment hall on another side. So this is the central place, the Times Square or the Piccadilly Circus of Rome. There were already five forums in Rome, but none of them could compete with the scale of Trajan's. Trajan's Forum was the largest of the imperial fora that was built in central Rome. It's the size of all of the other imperial fora put together. Trajan built it to ensure his popularity, but also to make himself truly Roman. Trajan was the first of the non-Italian emperors, so he was from Spain, quite a good soldier. He was the second of the so-called five good emperors, so he was chosen for his abilities rather than because of who his father was. Trajan was a self-made man and an empire builder. Not surprisingly, he chose as his architect a man who also came from outside Italy, a Greek called Apollodorus. He'd helped Trajan on his military operations abroad. We don't know as much about Apollodorus's career as we would like, and this is true for most Roman architects. He was Trajan's chief architect, was responsible for the construction of bridges during the campaign in Dacia, as well as Trajan's forum. The money from the Dacian campaigns allowed Apollodorus to pull out every stop to make his emperor's forum a showcase. The piazza alone was almost 200 meters long and surrounded by elaborate arcades and adorned with statues of Trajan. There was a marketplace, a library, as well as law courts. For the average Roman, to enter Trajan's forum was to enter another world. The poor Roman, escaping from his stuff, crowded, cramped living conditions, goes into this glorious mass of gleaming marble and sees the gilded bronze roofs above him of the palace. He's moved into a completely different world. It's like going onto a film set. But Trajan's Forum would be far more than a public square. To seal the public's approval, Trajan now began developing the world's first shopping center. It became known as Trajan's Markets. He cleared away a hillside 40 meters high and built the complex in terraces adjoining his forum. The layout of the markets is very interesting because in a certain way, it is a forerunner of our modern shopping malls, let out on different levels, and from one level you could look down on another level. This was a futuristic design, an entire center of different spaces on different levels with raised walkways and streets containing 150 shops on five floors. And here for the moment, we're walking along a corridor on which open up some of the shops of this complex. As you can see, a shop had its entire facade opening up on a street or on a corridor. The construction methods were new, fast and economical. The walls were only faced in brick. To save money, the bricks were cut in half and the newfound mixture of concrete and rubble on the inside of the wall made it possible to build five stories high. The markets of Trajan, a great example of the skill that the Romans have in using the brick. Not only as a purely functional building material, but also as an aesthetical material. Thus the brick becomes in itself a part of the decoration of the building. On the fifth floor was the corn dole, where free rations were handed out. Beneath, arcades of shops offered every commodity from across the empire. The finest silks, rare spices and precious gems, as well as everyday goods, were all for sale in a variety of covered markets. A place for Romans to mix and relax, to eat and drink, to browse and buy anything they wanted. There were bars and takeaway food stores. Trajan helped to make Rome the most sophisticated place on earth. The city had every technology available to man, and one of its greatest wonders was the aqueduct. 